So uh, what I found that helps is make sure that you really have it tightly wrapped and you can kind of see the length is like maybe a half inch tops. If you go over that, it's going to be really tough. Um, banana for reference. What's that? Um, Can you explain what you're doing? Uh, lighting a torch. Um, no, I but meant, what we're going to do is we're going to melt meant, one of these little pieces of like solder. Make it, we're making the cords to hook up to the batteries. Yeah, you can see several over there. But anyways, um, both one. You want to heat this up. Um, it'll when it's ready, it's going to start bubbling. When you start bubbling, you're going to want to bring your uh, cable in and just heat up the uh, copper a little bit before inserting. And what you, what I've been trying to do um, and what's been pretty successful is um, you'll have depending on your cut one end might be a little longer one end might be uh, like a little obtuse or it's like flaring out a little bit start by inserting that end into the hole um and then follow up uh with the much cleaner side so it's bubbling i'm going to heat up the copper a little bit while keeping the heat on it all right should be good Not the cleanest one I did, but it's not terrible. As you can see, and you hold it here for a little bit so for the solder to uh, cool down and harden. Um, you can see I left a little bit out, on, but I think that's going to happen no matter what. Um, basically, you hold it and it'll cool down, and that's about it. And then you move on to the. I'll I'll do the next stage as well before. Normally I like so like I did this one already, um, and when I when I was when I start cranking them out, um, I just do this process first, and then I do the heat wrap portion. But I'll do the heat wrap portion now. All right, that should be good. try and make sure that the copper ends that do stick out I get back onto the uh, uh, terminal or whatever the post um, you can kind of see where I'm lining it up next take a heat gun let's let it heat up a little bit first and then start applying heat See it's starting to now form a bit as it's shrinking. Kind of know when you're done when the adhesive starts seeping out it means you've got like a good seal. So that's done. So you can see the adhesive dripped out a bit. Once once I see that on the edge, I think it's basically done. So that's that. Uh, and then you I'll continue the other side, but you don't need that. Thanks.